Hi and welcome to my new series starting your trading journey on YouTube. This session is about trading and technical analysis, the basic concepts of what you want to learn, probably. So we're going to talk about what the difference is between trading and technical analysis and what it is used for. The first thing is, what is the difference between a trader and a gambler? Both do make decisions and both do something with their money, but what is the difference? A gambler follows his or her gut feeling and emotions. This is very important to understand. The decisions from a gambler most probably stem from their emotions, whereas a trader make base, bases uh, his or her decision on analysis, observation, data, all this stuff. It is a more scientific approach that a trader is taking. And this scientific approach is often called technical analysis, but it is also called fundamental analysis. Both types of analysis are valid approaches to forming and coming up with a method that is more structured and more systematic than anything that a gambler does. So what you are doing with this is to increase your probabilities to be on the right side, to be, to be correct with your decisions. This is what you want to achieve because trading is something that you do in the long term. It is not something that you want to make money in the short term with. It's something that you want to use in order to grow your capital, your wealth over time. This is what trading is primarily for and what it should be used for. So a trader has a lot of different um, options, a lot of different ways how to approach his or her analysis. And it is most common that traders use simple TA, simple principles of TA in order to read and analyze a chart. If you don't know what a chart is and uh, what kind of objects you see here and uh, how it works, you can read this up. The information is basically everywhere. Um, it's not that hard. And once, you, once you've understood what a chart is and how it works, um, you can come back to my course and you're going to learn about a lot of different methods and tools that you can use in order to analyze it. So uh, when we are tr uh, talking about trading, um, we are talking about a systematic um, and structured approach. It is very important to understand that trading is systematic and structured because it follows a method. Um, it follows the scientific method. So it is a scientific process. Um, it is very objective as science should be. Um, you're open to all kinds of conclusions. You accept what the market presents to you. So when, when, when it, the market presents to you that price will go down, or most probably will go down, um, you accept that fact. It's, it's uh, when the probabilities are higher, you, you have to accept and you have to stay humble. It is very important. Um, and always consider the market superior to yourself and your abilities. So you have to expect that the market will tell you things. And sometimes you will um, get to understand what the market tells you, and sometimes not. This is the, the natural course of events in uh, TA and trading. Um, but it is also, uh, trading is also focused and you need to have patience. It is very important that um, you have to have a focus and you have to be patient because um, it takes time to analyze, to understand, um, and especially trading can also take time. Um, it can take time to find um, yeah, setups that you can trade. Um, and uh, with when, when you're not a patient, when you're impatient, um, as a gambler is, for example, uh, then you are prone to making mistakes, and uh, yeah, you will probably lose money in the long run. Gamblers on the other side, uh, well, their actions are unstructured. Um, they do uh, subjective interpretation. Uh, some sometimes their actions are random, um, gut gut feeling based, you know, and unfocused, uh, impatient, and Usually gamblers are greedy and you don't want to be greedy. Um, you want to stay humble. Um, and this is the way to be a trader, to be good, to become a good trader. It takes a while to become a good trader, but it's possible when you're putting in the effort. So um, 
sometimes gamblers can be successful and traders can be unsuccessful. This is uh, pretty normal. Um, but you have to keep in mind that trading is a long-term game. And even if you're not successful with your trades, um, you have to adapt. You have to come up with a strategy. You have to come up with a better, better method in order to uh, yeah, um, improve your trading. Uh, gamblers can't improve. They are not able to improve because they don't have a method to improve. This is very important to understand. Uh, sure, they sometimes uh, they um, they are successful, but uh, in the long run, they will always lose. It is absolutely uh, improbable that a trader with a method is less successful than a gambler in the long run. So becoming a trader means you have to put in the time and effort to learn and understand. This is very important. Um, it, it will take you a lot of it. It will take you time. And you will probably have a hard time learning certain stuff. This is normal because, um, as you remember from school or university or whatever, um, learning uh, requires um, time and effort. And uh, improving yourself um, comes on top of that. So you need to improve yourself as a person, as a human being. Um, and you need to, to learn to follow principles, control your emotions, and get rid of your bad habits that might, come, uh, uh, might uh, be in the way um, between you and profitable trading style. This is um, also something that should, shouldn't be underestimated. Um, on top of that, you should work on becoming a calm and focused person. And of course, you need to work hard for your goals. This is what a, what a successful trader... Uh, th these characteristics are shared among successful traders. So becoming a trader does not mean you will make big money from day one. This is very, very unlikely. And you shouldn't start trading when this is your goal. So if you if you want to uh, make a lot of money in a very short amount of time without learning anything, trading is not for you. This is not, uh, this is not where you will probably achieve this. Um, in trading, you have to uh, take the time, take your time and... Um, improve uh, over time. This is the, the key success factor that you have to bring with you. So TA, a technical analysis on the other side, uh, first and foremost, it means that you analyze market data to come up with scenarios and expectations on how price will move in the future. So you want to know where price will go so you can trade it. This is the, it's, this is the basic logic behind it. So in order to achieve this, you need to learn how markets work. You have to understand the core principles of market mechanics and dynamics. And for this to understand, you need to learn about psychology, in especially mass psychology. You have to learn about economic principles. And you have to learn and experience price movements. Um, and you have to understand that price movements are always also shifts in sentiment of the market participants and vice versa. So this means that whenever you see price moving, it means that the psycho psychological aspect is also affected. The, the psychology of the market is strictly uh, connected or interconnected with the, uh, the price action you see on the charts. This is something that you have to learn about and how to read that, how to analyze that by the use of TA. Um, it also means that uh, to become a technical analyst, you must be willing to learn more about psychology, economics, and the scientific method, and to bring it all together. You have to uh, often combine your knowledge. You have to come up with um, conclusions in the field of psychology, uh, conclusions in the field of ec economy, and uh, you have to apply the scientific method in order to come up with uh, hypotheses and theories that you can use in order to trade. So um, if you're if you feel like this is too complex, um, I would recommend to, to to give it a try to just read and listen to a bit of the of, of this stuff. It is more interesting than it sounds. Um, new traders are often confused by the complexity behind the topics, but that is not something that um, yeah that this is a prejudice. Um, just give it a try and see for yourself if it's something you want to dive deeper into. Um, another skill that you will need as a technical analyst is, of course, you need to apply 
uh, tools, some standardized uh, tools in TA, uh, but also, um, yeah, expand your knowledge on new tools, new methods um, to adapt to new market circumstances. This is very important because markets always are always changing and you need to adapt. So the question, why should you put so much effort into this? Um, the simple answer to this is because it's your money you're playing with. It's, it's your hard-earned money and you want to spend it in a way that makes sense and you want to grow your wealth. Um, and for this, uh, to achieve this, um, yeah, as a trader, um, you need to be capable of doing TA. So you, you will be successful in the long run. This uh, comprises that you learn how to manage yourself, your emotions, your desires, uh, your actions. Um, you need to... Um, yeah, you, you need to acquire the, the, the necessary knowledge in order to understand what's happening um, and you will be um, in the position to uh, place your trades, execute your ideas and plans and you will see that you can have success this way. If you're interested in learning more about TA and trading, um, yeah, follow this course and uh, have a look at uh, my other content as well.